you like to be called the Honorable Oliver Foote? Uh, or how should I title you as? I have a title, the Honorable Oliver Foote, but I really only use it when it's appropriate. And, and I usually use it for fundraising purposes. <laughs> so that means that this is the show to do it in. <laughs> Well, thank you for talking with us. And I'm very curious about the Orbis Foundation because it is so new to the community. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about it. Sure, I'd be happy to. It was about um, 25 years ago when the idea came to a doctor, an American doctor called Dr. David Payton. He had the idea of, a, of an airplane, a big airplane, that would have inside it a state-of-the-art operating room and a television studio built into it to teach doctors around the developing world new sight-saving skills in eye surgery. At that time, there were 30 million people blind in the world who need not be, 30 million people who could see again. And the main problem was that doctors throughout Africa and Asia and India and Central and South America did not have the surgical skills to do these operations. So this plane came into fruition. And in 1982, Dina Merrill christened that aircraft and it took off on its first mission to Panama. And its purpose was to combat world blindness. And by training and by hands-on teaching doctors throughout the developing world, we at that time, in the first 10 years, revolutionized eye care across the world because we taught them how to use the operating microscope. And literally millions of blind people have had their sight restored through the sight-saving surgical techniques that American doctors, including doctors from Palm Beach, have actually shared with doctors in China and Africa and India. And it's a remarkable project. And since then, it has gone on to develop even permanent country programs. The plane keeps flying from country to country, operating on blind people in the plane at airports in order to teach doctors in those countries sight-saving techniques. But at the same time, we've set up permanent, ongoing, training and land-based country programs in Bangladesh, India, Ethiopia, China, and now Vietnam, where we have staffs in all those people. There's something like 400 American eye doctors who donate their time to come out and teach this surgery on board the plane and in our country offices. We decided to found the first ball in Palm Beach. It is known in many, many cities uh, around the country, but last year was our first ball for, for Orbis. Mm -hmm. And um, this is our second year doing it. It's going to be the first ball of the season at the Keenan Pavilion. And we chose it because we wanted to be a little different than all the other charities. And we thought this would be just very ideal because Dina Merrill is our, our honoree. And this is part of her background. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also think it's very stately and beautiful. And also tonight we have the Palm Court, which is very reminiscent of this beautiful place. One incident that I remember very clearly was in, we went to Peru one time, and we were going to do corneal transplants. Now that's human tissue, and it's a very Catholic country. And the Premier said, no, no, you can't do that, you can't do that. They brought him on board to see what we did, and he saw a child who had had a corneal transplant, looking at the doctor, and the doctor said, how many fingers am I holding up? And she said, three, and that blew him away. Mm -hmm. And he changed the laws of the country. My gosh. Changed the laws of the country because of that. Wow. So we do do good things. <laughs> it's a wonderful charity, and it I'm is. so thrilled that it's here in Palm Beach. Thank you. Thank well, you I for being here. I hope we're going to be able to be, bring the plane down here someday so that you all can tour it. Certainly. Because we've done it in Houston and we've done it in other cities, Chicago. We'd like to do it here too. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank Dana. you. We'll get you out of this uh, okay. balmy weather here. here. <laughs>